Hi guys, this is the Python series, part 33. Now let's discuss about how the new file can be created by using X mode, A mode and W mode. Okay, W mode creates a new file with a specified name if no such file exists. Okay, it will overwrite the file if any file exists. The file pointer position is at the beginning of the file. I repeat it again. W mode creates a new file with the specified name if no such file exists. Okay, it will overwrite the file if any file exists. What is the position of the file pointer? At the beginning of the file. Okay, so what is the role of the up and mode? Up and mode creates a new file with a specified name if no such file exists. It appends the content to the file if the file already exists with a specified name. Okay. The file pointer position is at the end of the file. Okay. I repeat it again. Append mode creates a new file with a specified name if no such file exists. It appends. Okay, the content to the file if the file already exists with the same specified name. What is the position of the file pointer? At the end of the file. Okay, the third mode, X mode, creates a new file with a specified name. It causes an error if the file exists with the same name. The file pointer is at the beginning of the file. I repeat it again. X mode creates a new file with the specified name. It causes an error if the file exists with the same name. The file pointer position is at the beginning of the file. Okay. Now let's see this example. Here I have used the open inbuilt method to open this file with this mode. Okay, so we already discussed about the open inbuilt method. Okay, so this open inbuilt method returns the file pointer object. FPTR is the name of the file pointer object. Okay, here I have used the write mode. So what is the role of the write mode? It creates a new file with a specified name if no such file exists. Okay. It will override the file if any file is exist. That's it. The position of the file pointer is at the beginning of the file. Isn't it? So, if this file is already present means what will happen? The new content will be overridden the old content. That's it. If the specified name is not present means what will happen? This file will be created and the content will be stored inside this file. Okay. So, if I use this write mode, the file pointer is at the beginning of the file. I hope you all understood about the write mode. I try to open the file one text to file. Okay. So, here inside the D drive, file one dot text. So, this is my content. God is great. Okay. Now, this file is exist already. So, what will happen? This content will be overridden the old content. Am I correct? Okay. If there is no error inside the try block means what will happen? The control jumps from the second line to the else block, fifth line. Isn't it? And here I have used the write lines inbuilt method. Okay. So, with the help of this write lines, we can write the content to this file pointer object. Okay. So, it contains the address of this path of the file. Isn't it? And already we have this content. God is great. This file is exist inside the D drive. Okay. Now, after execute this program what will happen the control comes inside the else block and this content will be written inside the file one the old content will be erased 
got it and this statement will be printed on our console for our message okay now let me execute this one here file successfully updated okay now i open the file one again so actually the old content is god is great okay the old content is overridden by the new content because i have used to the right mode isn't it now this file is already exist isn't it but now i create a new file f w e inside the d drive this file is not exist okay f w e is not present inside this d drive now what will happen let me execute the same again so what is the result file successfully updated how this file is now only created and this content will be stored inside the newly created this text file is it clear now again i go to the d drive so here is the newly created text file okay now i open it this content is placed here okay so if this file is exist means the old content is overridden with the new content if the specified file is not present means the file will be created and the content will be stored inside the file okay i hope you all understood about the w mode if there is any error is occurred inside the try block means this except block is responsible to handle the error which is raised inside the try block okay this is the inbuilt exception class and this is the name of the variable so the inbuilt error message will be stored inside this variable that will be printed on our console with the help of the print method if there is no error means the else block will be executed okay now the next to one a mode so the name itself we know append okay so the specified file is not present means what will happen our content will be stored inside the newly created file okay if the specified file is already present means what will happen the old content is present and our new content will be added inside the file with the old content that's why we can call it as append this is my file path okay file 432 this is present inside the d drive now i open file 432 okay good thank you this is my old content okay now i want to append a new content okay health is wealth health is wealth okay let me execute this one file successfully updated this is only the output message okay now i open the same file 432 now the old content is present and the new content is also present health is wealth this is our old content and this is our new content okay that's why we can call it as append mode so the file pointer position is at the end of the file not the beginning of the file okay if we open any file using append mode the file pointer position is at the end only okay i hope you all understood about the difference between the right mode and the append mode okay right mode means the old content will be overridden append mode means the old content is present and the new content will be added okay and right mode means the file pointer position is at the beginning of the file okay beginning of the file if we use the append mode the file pointer position is at the end of the file okay 
the next one x mode okay so it causes a error what type of error if the specified file name is already present it will generate the error okay so this is my file if this file is already present means what will happen the x mode produces the error okay let me execute this one here error number 17 file exist this file is already present that's why i got this error okay so the control jumps from the second line to the third line and here this is the inbuilt exception class file exist error okay this is one of the inbuilt exception class and here this is the variable the inbuilt error message is stored here that is printed here okay now i give some new name apple okay now this is not present in my d drive okay apple is not present what will happen this file will be created okay so this won't give any errors okay now let me execute the same again a file successfully created okay i go and check inside the d drive apple now this file is created and the file pointer position is at the beginning of the file if we create any file with this mode means the specified file name is exist means it will give the error the specified file name is not present only this won't give any error the file will be created smoothly okay so now i have completed the write mode append mode and x mode okay so if we use the write mode the old content is overridden if we use the append mode the old content is present and the new content will be added for write mode the file pointer position is at the beginning of the file okay x mode also the file pointer position is at the beginning of the file okay but if we use the x mode means what will happen if the specified file name is already present this mode creates the error if the specified file is not present to means this file will be created we have completed this session if you have any doubts drop the message on the comment section if this video is useful to you like and share for more videos subscribe my channel hit the bell icon then only you will get the notification for my new updates have a nice day thank you